Are you thinking about how you'd steal it? It weighs two tons and is worth maybe a couple grand. Pass. But you were thinking about it. It's an involuntary reflex. Well, Nathaniel Rowland's inheritance is worth 40 million. You really think one of his sons forged his will? People do some crazy things for money. You think they'd be that stupid? That's what we're gonna find out. Well, what I'm gonna find out. You're saying I'm irrelevant in this case? The Bureau requested that I authenticate the will. I don't remember you being mentioned. Not me. Not you. Right this way. Hi, Josh Rowland. You're here to authenticate my will? Agent Peter Burke. My associate, Neil, will take a look at it. I've become relevant in a little bit. How you doing? Good. May I see the wills? Yeah, they're both here on the table. Look, I really don't want him to go to jail over this, but if he's trying to steal $40 million... Hey, sorry I'm late. Savannah's nap went a little longer than expected. I didn't take a nap. Shh. Let's go upstairs and play, okay? See you in a few minutes. Hi, Uncle Josh. Hi, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're on James. Neil. Hello. Hi. I don't know what my brother's been telling you, but I haven't been doctoring up anything. There's no way Dad would have left you everything. You'd squander it. Squander it? That's a good word. Do you mean I'd blow it? Maybe use some of this family's money to do some good for a change? That's charitable foundation. The tax yeah, you're like saying this. that with FBI yeah. agents in the room? Anyway, mind if we get this over with? Yeah. Who's he? His name is Neil. He knows a lot of stuff. That thing on the flag. That's a tracking anklet. I have an anklet. Want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Cute. Where'd you get it? My grandpa. Where'd he get his? It's part of a federal work release program where uh, I gave it to him. It's so I don't lose him. Oh, are you his grandpa? Weren't you supposed to go to your room? Uh huh. <laughs> his is a forgery, right? This is a forgery. What? I knew it. Hold on. So is this one. That's impossible. They're both forged? Yeah. How can you say they're both fake? The witness signatures, the velocity, acceleration, and pressure both have exactly the same anomalies. They were signed by the same person. So what happens now? Before we jump to any conclusions, we need to verify the witness signatures. We'll run a couple more tests. When we get something, we will let you know. Thank you. What's in that box? Well, to paraphrase the man who brought down the Soviet Union, it's easier to trust when you can verify. You gonna show me a shining city on a hill? Mm -hmm. Shining, yes. And with it, you can buy any city on any hill. Treasure camp. Look, I know how hard it must be to see the promised land and not be able to enter because of your leash, and I don't want this to come between us. So now we can both keep an eye on our fortune 24-7. Thank you, Maz. Mm -hmm. Oh, see the Degas? Yeah. I think I've lined up a buyer. Kind of my eye on that one. Oh, well, fortunately, there's two other Degas to choose from, Mr... Did you pick a name? Close. Glenn Close. No, I'm working on it. I'm gonna have to live with this next one till the end. I wanna make sure it feels as good as Neil Caffrey. <laughs> a rose by any other name, Neil. Choose, because very soon, we're gonna be on an airplane to a different life. Hey. We got back biometrics on Roland's witness signatures. They are definitely forged. I told you that. Oh, wait, I did. Yeah. And based on your observations, we ran a couple other tests. See how the A is connected to the E two letters later? As Roland did in his youth. Roland forged the witness signatures? On both wills to his children. How did I miss this? You didn't know he was ambidextrous. He signed these with his left hand. And the names are weird. Horace Bythe Hatch O'Bray? It sounds like they're ripped from a Salander novel. Well, they are fictional. What do you see? Same letters. They're anagrams. Tycho Brahe, 15th century Dutch astronomer. 16th and Danish. Close up. Almost impressive. Well, well, who is relevant now? What kind of message do you think he was trying to leave behind? 
He closes both wills with the line, in the end, there should be nothing between you, which is everything. Cryptic. Wait a second. What are you doing? Interesting. Peter, come here. These look like streets and compass rows. This isn't a message. This is a map. She's off limits. I already tried. Huh. Our crimes, they say. What makes you think that? Her attache is from the Smithsonian. Get the choice from DCR crimes chief to new recruits. What's the case? Above my pig brain. Your boss and I go back a long way. Agent Kramer, sorry he can't be here in person, but he briefed me fully. He did. I take it he wasn't supposed to. How much do you know? You discovered a German U-boat with an incredibly valuable cargo of art aboard. The art was destroyed in a fire. I believe the fire may have been a ruse, and the art still exists. You know a lot. I'm sorry, I do. Only a handful of people know about this. I'd like to keep it that way. Understood. I don't have enough evidence to open a formal investigation. However, part of the original German art manifest survived the fire. That's what I'd like Kramer to look into. Now, what I'd like you to do is simply... your attache, your uh, DCR crimes, right? Very good. Brings you up here. Business. Hey, do you know where I can find Agent Burke? Oh, I can help you with that. Office at the top of the stairs. Thank you. Agent Matthews. Agent Matthews, yes. All right, man, I got nothing. Told you so. Top of the morning meal? Apparently not. Am I late? Right on time. I spoke with the Rollins. You tell them about the map? I wanted to wait for you. We going to see them? Mm-hmm. Hey, little kitty. I love puzzles. I know you do. I've seen the New York puzzle thon trophies around the house. All three of them. Four. Four? Yeah. How could I forget? The overlaid wills form an image. It's the Sundial Lamont Garden. <sighs> we haven't done one of those in years. One of those... Treasure hunt? Yep. Told you it was a map. I didn't say it wasn't. Well, forget it. I'll see you in court. He's always been high strung. Uh, you know, whatever. Why don't we take a look at the sundial? The real will is at the end of the hunt, right? Yeah, maybe. I gotta go, guys. Savannah's gonna be home soon. My father's gone. I don't have to play by his rules anymore. What now? Walk these into evidence and return them to the lawyers. You're not even a little bit curious about solving this puzzle? Of course I am, but, you know, the assistant director hasn't authorized an FBI treasure hunting unit. Why don't we drop by the park just to make sure nothing illicit is afoot at the sundial? I can't. I have lunch with Al, but you can take a look. You don't want to come? Yes. I could use your astronomical puzzling expertise. Oh. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Elle had an interview this morning. There's an opening at the the Army Gallery. Oh, nice. Yeah. Next time. <clears throat> Just yeah. keep me updated. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. The complexity. These patterns must have taken weeks to devise. Uh, Roland. It's like a 
Copernican cross between Dan Brown and Scott Turow. I think these numbers are times of day. 4.30. That would be there. Doesn't seem to point to anything. Well, everything points to something. Did you just steal that from my brain? No. I'm missing some detail. What do you think happens when the sun hits it? Four hours to find out. How to go at the gallery. Mm. Good. Yeah? Yeah, they're looking for a consultant. So I don't know, I was thinking. Wow. Wow? No, I, would, I was wowing your news. I don't need to answer that. Sweetie, if it's work. That's nothing. So, uh, could, you, could you consult at the gallery and still do Burke events? Yeah, I think I could do both. And besides, I could do my own openings. I don't know. You should do this. You should do this. Yeah. I know how much you've been wanting to get back in the art world. I have. I mean, what does Neil want? Nothing. Nothing. He's on this treasure hunt. A real treasure hunt? Yeah. An eccentric millionaire left coded wills to his kids. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. <laughs> mm. It's from Neil. It is? Yeah. All right, he said he's found nothing obvious in the times, but the sun won't shine on the gnomon for four more hours. Thoughts? You just happen to have the will in your back pocket? Yeah, be prepared. Eagle Scout. Of course. All right, see, there's this little flower right next to the first time on the will. What do you think it means? Well, it's a tulip, which is symbolic for rebirth, yeah. springtime. Um... That's it. The angle of the sun is going to be different in the spring rather than the winter or the summer. So the shadow on the sundial is going to be different. It could recreate it using a couple mirrors. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Honey, what? do you want to grab some mirrors and go play with Neil? Yes. Remember when I said that things were getting back to normal between me and Peter? Yeah, that's sweet. You know, one sentence in, I already hate this conversation. Well, this morning he met with someone from D.C. Art Crimes. Specialty suits? Why? I don't know. He didn't tell me. Art crimes are your FBI raison d'etre. You are art crimes. That's why I'm letting you know. It could be nothing. Huh? Everything points to something. Who do you meet with? Her name's Agent Matthews. She goes back to DC on Friday. Oh, well, that gives us plenty of time. I already lined up a buyer for the day, God. Elizabeth! Peter! Couldn't <laughs> stay away, could you? Well, not after that frantic distress text you left my wife. Neil, Mozzie. Good to see you, Mrs. Suit. I may have solved the sundial code. There's a symbol for each season next to the time. Using these mirrors, we can recreate the seasonal offset. <laughs> oh, a sextant. It was a birthday gift from my lovely wife that she said I'd never get a chance to use. How did I not foresee this? What's the first time? 4.30. In the spring? Yeah, but not the government forced daylight savings 4.30, the real 4.30. Hun, if you would stand right about here. That's good. And Mr. Conspiracy, if you could stand right about here and not move. Good. Okay, honey, hold it a little higher and to your right. That's it. Good. Swivel it towards. All right, honey. That's it. Right there. It's pointing to the letter B. We're on to something. Huh. What's the next letter? Two o'clock and the symbol is the sun. Two o'clock in the summer. Yeah. Moss, two steps to your left. Hold your arms up as high as you can. Is that a short joke? It is now. And to your right. Honey, swivel up just a little bit more. Almost there. That's it. Right there. S. All right, what's the next time? Okay, Mossy, uh, two steps back. That's right there. And hold the mirror lower. And lower, lower, lower. Swivel it, honey. That's it, right there. To your right. There you go, good, lower. Right there. H. B-S-H. Does that mean anything to you? No. Three-letter acronyms are your specialty. Suit. Back to the drawing board. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Hey, John. I just got off the phone with James Rowland. What's going on? The treasure hunt just turned into a kidnapping. Someone's taking Savannah. 